guys so in today's video we're going to be doing uh i'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh change the uh, ride height setting on a troy built lawnmower on the front end so walk behind um i already did it on the other side to the height i was looking for but we're going to do it on this side now so there are two tools that you're going to need uh little pair of pliers there and the uh has screwdriver so what you do with your screwdriver is put it into this uh looks like an elephant clip or whatever right here kind of looks like an e-ring but and you just try to pry it out with the screwdriver until it finally comes out And then after that, once you get it out, you uh, take the whole wheel out, put another one of these spacers down here, up here, and put it back in like that. Space core, we're gonna try to just pry this thing out. There we go. So now we got the uh, ring out here. We're just gonna set it right there. We're gonna take a little washer, put it right here. Spacer up top, put it down here. I'm gonna pull the wheel off. So now we got the wheel off. We wanna take another spacer out. And I just want one. Looks like I'm getting two either way. So we're gonna have to put this one What's going on with these? Are they rust watered or something? Eh, I don't know. Go ahead and put this one back. Unless we got this one to go up here. And pull it right up here like that. And I'm gonna go ahead. I only got one arm. I don't have anybody filming. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, get the other washer to put back. Or the two washers look like they're swallowed together or something. Put them on top here, like that. And I'm gonna get, get I'm gonna get my uh, washer. And those two are the spacers. I, I think I called them washers just a second ago. I can't remember. But I'm gonna get the actual washer here. Put it on there like so. And we want to get the clip back on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the clip. And so the clip's on like that. Now we gotta take these uh, pliers and just squeeze them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So I got the uh, I got the back end of it jacked up off the ground, and it looks like what we're gonna need for the back is a socket and a wrench. Socket hooked up to a ratchet and a wrench. So I'm gonna go ahead and go dig in my toolbox over there for the right socket and the right wrench and see what'll fit. It looks to be maybe a 9 sixteenths, I don't know, maybe half, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Out this bolt here is actually a metric, so I found a, uh, a uh, 15 millimeter wrench. It's made by Craftsman. I don't know if you can see that. 15 millimeter socket too. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the wheel off and uh, move it up to the next bracket up, up here. See how she works. All right, so now you got all the uh, nuts and the little plates off. You got to move the wheel up or down to the next setting. I move mine up once in that one setting. So I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, nut here and turn it back on on the side. And, uh, and after that, I'm going to do the same on the other side here.
insert this on the other side. And I'm going to do the same to that wheel over there. Um, not on camera, but you know how it works. So, uh, go ahead and tighten that out there. As much as I can. And same on the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to And same on the other side. That's all done, I gotta do the other side. Which I'm gonna go ahead and do. And then I'll show you guys the results of it once I'm done. All right guys, so uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this thing sits a lot lower now. My foot still fits underneath the deck, but eh, that's okay. I wanna check the, uh, the dry stuff and see if it still, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it still touches. In fact, I think it touches even, I think it pushes the tire in even more. Which means it moved probably a little bit faster. Anyway guys, let's go ahead and take it out here and take it for a test mount. rubbing up against the uh, case in here, but now I can probably just bend that out. Be the best thing to do. Anyway, guys, time for the test mode. All right, guys, so I just test drove the uh, Troy Bill, and uh, there's the one over this patch right over here, and uh, there was a whole bunch of high grass. Now there's not really much anything. And then there's a circle over here where I went and mowed and uh, mowed over a bunch of junk and uh, worked perfectly. Yeah. Then even over there, I went over there and went around in a circle. Anyway, guys, it's going to do it for this video. If you, if you liked the video and thought the information was helpful, make sure you leave a like button. And uh, if you really enjoy the content of this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get more uh, more videos from me. Anyway, guys, stay mint.